Crazy island, more than most, that's all. I hope you're right. Happy you. Oh, well, we get for the all How are you? Fine, thank you. How's your condition now? Oh, it works perfectly, thanks to you. <laughs> hey, Paul. Very much a plane coming down. Oh. It's Paul Morrison, ace photographer. Pleased to meet you. No, you're not anymore. Hi. Famous artist. Uh, no, 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 just plain painting. Thanks. <laughs> well, if you don't mind, I'm going to go pick up the rest of my stuff. There's no hurry. Uh, save me a seat. I promise. There's a lady next door. She looks good. <laughs> A silly tour of yours is leaving. You still want to go? Oh, great. Come on, this will be a real picnic. George, 
George, time for the cruise. Feel up to it? Oh, sure. You got your pillows? Ethel, don't worry about it. Ten islands in five days, and I haven't forgotten them yet. Have I? It's a good play. Just in time. What is it? Thank you. Jerry, what's just in time? For us to get out of here before you eat another whole banana pie. Now you listen to me a second. Come on, I give you a Hershey bar on the bar. Oh, wait like it, you home. Oh, well, well, here we are. Everyone is going to This way, please. Three, five. This way, this way. This way, please. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Greater Antilles, Santors, welcome you. And I, Reginald Chumley Jones, your tour guide, welcome you too. Today, our tour will take us to the fascinating island of San Marie, our neighboring republic. We're confident that you're about to have one of the most exciting, fun-filled evenings of your entire life. Something to the taste of the artist with an eye to the beauty of the exotic. To the restless spirits in search of excitement everywhere and anywhere. To the photographer who wishes to preserve this single occasion forever. For you, sir, will be matchless scenes for wonderment. Strange activities for the students of life and human nature who wish to understand the wellspring of life mysteries. That's what the Caribbean is all about. I don't believe this. But you paid twenty dollars. I did pay twenty dollars. Open up down there. Ethel has to go to the hand. I don't deserve this. What the hell do you want? Come on, shake a leg. 
Why don't you just throw me over the side? All the visitors who come to our shores, you are to be congratulated above all. You are men and women of great taste and discrimination. You spurn the artificial or the non the genuine. You have demanded a real thing, and you shall have it on the beautiful island of San Marie.
Yeah. I think you're right. We got married. <laughs> I still say we have to wait. And I say it's never too late. Word of love. Zombies kidnapped him. Don't make jokes. This is serious. We're all alone here. God knows where. Yeah. Where is that character? This place is giving me the creeps. I am telling you, honey, it was only a show. Show? I know what I saw. Here you are, Reverend. This is for the church collection box. Thank you, Mr. Jones. We just aren't getting as many visitors as we're used to. Yes, I'm aware of that, Mr. Jones. I'm sorry to hear that, Reverend. Do not concern yourself, Mr. Jones. The gods will provide me with other means. Best you go look after our guests. Right you are, Reverend. Mr. Jones. Take this to help you guide your way. Thank you, Reverend. Good night. Farewell, Mr. Jones. Farewell. What was that? Simply the cry of a jungle bird, my dear. Where did he come from? Now, my friends, I'd best get you back to the boat in time for dinner. This Let's way, please. go. Let's get out of here. Sure. Oh, jungle bird. Jungle bird. Jungle bird. Would someone please get those torches, please? Careful, watch your steps. Hey there, Roy. Here we are, start her up. 
magic now. Come on, Roy, start her up! Roy! Roy! Yeah. What's the problem? A bit of an accident, I'm afraid. What kind of an accident? I'm sure I don't know, but our driver seems to have disappeared. Hey, wait a minute, what's that? That was the foggiest. Hey, Buster, you're supposed to stand around here all night. This driver seems to have taken off. Uh, hey, Chumley, the keys are in here. Let's go. Of course, of course. Silly of me, huh? <laughs> That's for yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, all aboard, let's go. Everything ship shape shortly. Explains what? Somebody took the distributor cap. Roy must have taken it with him. Yeah? Why? So no one would steal the bus. Uh-huh. We need to do any good to hot wire. Hot wire? Just take my word for it. Without a distributor cap, we'd never get this thing moving. <laughs> well, then there's only one thing for it. What? There's a phone booth just down the road. I'll have to go ahead and call for help. Hey, Paul, what's going on? I'll be with you in a minute. Listen, this is your tour, Mr. Jones. You got us here, you got us out. Oh, yes, 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 of course, of course. That would be the thing to do, wouldn't it? Right. Get with it. Sure. What's a hold up, huh? It looks like the driver hurt himself somehow. He must have gone to get help for himself. What's oh, wrong God. with the motor? The driver took the distributor cab with him. What on earth for? So the natives wouldn't steal the bus. That's obvious. Mm. So what are we supposed to do now? Our charming guy has gone down the road to use the pay phone. I knew something terrible was going to happen. Nothing terrible has happened. Ever since they started playing around with those dead bodies. This is frightful. How was he service, I say? I'm perfectly happy right here. Hmm, I heard that. Hey, listen, while everybody's carrying on, what happened to the newlyweds? Ed and Donna. Oh, they probably You, I completely oh, forgot wow. about them. Yeah, they probably should look for them. Oh, I hope they're all right. I'm sure I do they too. Listen. Don't worry about them. Why not? Why? Oh, my God. Oh, no. Who you studied with, Adler? What? Steve? Steve? He went down the road. Down the road? 
You have to see what's keeping the tour, man. Oh, damn, sorry. Still drowsy. That must be him now. What's the story? No story. What do you mean? I mean no tour guide. And the payphone was ripped up. Here goes. So there's nothing, only this. His hat. And no Chumley what's his name to go with it. I just knew something awful was gonna happen. You know, there's something fishy about all this. Yeah, voodoo magic, maybe. Hey, honey, don't make jokes. Sorry. Right, we've already lost two people. Plus the driver. And now the tour guide's abandoned us. So, what do we do now, Mr. Big? Beats the hell out of me. Not my kind of decision. Why doesn't everybody just relax? It's supposed to be a fun picnic, remember? We can always contact the voodoo people. Not on your life. And there's one thing I'm certainly not doing. What's that? Spending my night cooped up on this stupid bus. Yeah, this place is getting creepy about a minute. Wait a minute. Here's always the house. What house? That villa a couple miles down the road? Didn't see any villa. That's because you don't have my fine painter's eye. It's on the mountain. Hey, maybe they have a phone. Yeah, maybe they don't. Listen, Joe. Anything's better than just sitting here. The zombies coming to life over there? No, thank you. Hey, hold your horses. Maybe we'll be better off waiting here until morning. How many people want to stay here tonight, or how many want to try and get to the house? No way. No way. No way. No way. No way. I agree with you. Hold it. I agree with Joe. Let's try it again, this time with the hands. No, they... George, not with Joe. Listen, some zombie cuts my throat. What puts my heart? We go with the majority. Okay, that's it. All hands, let's go. Why me? Angel, you're the one that saw the villa. You lead the way. Let's watch your footing. Okay, you'd be kind of treacherous. Oh, I'm right here. Right here. Hey, what's happening? I'm seeing what else we can use. This should come in handy for chopping a trail or something. Yeah, something like a zombie. <laughs> Ah, here's a first aid kit, in case we have to patch him up again. That's it? No, hold it. Ah, here's another light. Oh, yeah, this will light the way for the honeymooners. Great. But hurry up, okay? Step, okay? Here, let me have you walk with you. What's wrong? The honeymooners. We got, we got to try and tell them how to find the house. Well, how do we do that? I'll leave instructions. Anybody got some paper? Yeah, I do. Oh, yeah. oh good. I'll take this. Sure. You sure you want to go back there? I'm sure I don't want them on my conscience. Okay, but we'll take Be it careful. slow, all right? Don't worry about all it. Right, it's only one care. roll. All right. Hey, what happened? I've got my perk potato boots. <laughs> that is not funny. Do you think they'll find right. What's so funny about being at this giant? I thought it was funny.
Jump, that's what happened. It was hiding on the bus. That son of a bitch hit me like a ton of bricks. Who was it? Who the hell knows? The voodoo people. Sandy, you got voodoo of the mind. Well, who else? Well, maybe it was that driver. Maybe he went off his rocker or something. It looked like a weed hit to me right from the start. It wasn't a driver. A zombie, perhaps? Yeah, you tell me. What's that? I chopped it off and... Whatever it is. Maybe one of them savages. It looks like a bird or a bear. Look, it doesn't matter who right now. All I know is homicidal. You read me? It was trying to kill me. Got it? Okay. So where in the hell is this house of yours? As a matter of fact, it's right up there. They at least could have put a white in there. Oh, George, this is no time for jokes. Laughter is the best medicine. The Reader's Digest says so. George, you're incorrigible. Uh, all right, let's go. Let's go to Mexico, all right? Directly behind you. Right. Yeah. Almost there now. Maybe uh, we'd be better off on our own. This bunch is jinxed. Suit yourself, Matt. With me, it's safety in numbers. my eye out. Only thing putting your eye out is that pretty young butt up front there. What are you talking about? Are you now? Hold a sec. Well, what's the problem now? I'm not sure. Wait a yeah, skunk cabbage. Yeah, it smells like rotten eggs. No, rotten meat. I smell it back at the bus. It's following us. Oh, God. Okay, okay. Let's not panic. Hey, we're almost there. The house can't be but another quarter of a mile or so down the path. Yeah! guys go up to the house and get help if you can. Well, what about you? I'll stay here with him until you get back. Yeah, what about... Get going. I'll hold it for you. Okay, okay folks. Paul and George are going to take a little rest here. The rest go to the house and get help. Okay? I'm not leaving him. I'll look after you. I am not leaving him. Okay, we'll go from helping you back before you know it. I'm not leaving him.
Jerry, they went under, slipped, I think. You think? It was hard to tell. Listen, Helen was almost over to the other side, and then suddenly she was falling in the water. Yeah, and Jerry dove in to help her. What's the matter? Didn't they see something over there? Oh, Paul, it happened so quickly. It was over like that. Hey, Joe, hey. Yeah. What? No. Man, it's so dark, I can't see. Ah! 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 Take it easy, honey. I can't take much more of this. Of them? Yeah. What do we do? We can't leave them there. We can't. Unless it's your suicide. Well, who was it? Did you see what it was? Yeah. Must have been some kind of crazy. Human or not. Listen, let's get to the house first, then decide what to do, okay? Yeah, right. You two go ahead. You're gonna stay back there and cover our asses. From now on, Matt, you better cover your own ass. What's that supposed to mean? It means that something out there is after us. You gotta be kidding. What did we do to anybody? Yeah, who knows? It doesn't seem to matter. Paul tell them. It's George and Ethel. They're both dead. Murdered. <gasps> oh my. First Helen and Jerry, and now George and Apple. Somebody out there wants us all dead. Sure. You want to stay and check it out? Keep going, baby. Matt, take it easy. Yeah, we'll take it easy as soon as we get to this house up there. Whoa, we better think this one over. Why? Why? 
because that nutcase may be operating out of the house. Yeah, who knows? But right now, he's behind us across the river there, so... So we check out the house, okay? Knew we never should have come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mexico would have been so much nicer. She all those greasers with their guitars. Well, I love guitars. Anybody home? If Igor answers, I'm uh, leaving. Igor? You know, Igor, Dr. Frankenstein's butler. Sick. <laughs> no, I'm not sick. Just play. <laughs> Looks like everybody left in a hurry. If they left. And what's that supposed to mean? They could all be dead in their bed upstairs. <laughs> well, they could, couldn't they? Yeah. Paul, let's check it out. Keep an eye on the girls, okay? Okay. Just like a Girl Scout. Always prepared, huh? Thank you. Let's see if we can find some water. Bye. 
bother him, he won't bother you. More good news. No dead bodies upstairs. Ladies, I'll take care of this. Everybody is missing the point. Oh, and what's that? Well, I think we should be trying to get in touch with someone to tell them what's happening to us. Here's some more news, good and bad. First, the bad news. No telephone calls. That's out. And now, the good news. <laughs> now we got some real protection. Where the hell did you find that? Out in the backyard. So they had a shootout here. I told you they could all be dead. Is that thing loaded? Yeah, but only two rounds. Please, Joe, be careful. Don't worry, I've been handling guns all my life. Is that a fact? That is a fact. Can I take a look? If you're gonna wear it like that, you better keep it like this. And actually, that one makes Sandy very happy. Or you, for that matter. Huh? Oh, no. Terrific. Damn it. Just what you need. Damn it. Old places like this, they're usually on generators. We better check the basement. You people be okay. Are you kidding with this cannon? <laughs> Come on, Joe. This is not high noon. Please put that away until we really have reason to use it. All right. Watch that creeper ball. Looks like it. Give it a crank. Took Anthropology 35, you ought to know. How do you spell it? Right, it's anthro, and then it's... P-O-P-H-A-G-Y. Cannibalism. What? Oh, my God. There's a whole shelf here. German, French, and Italian, and all on cannibalism. Hey, you know, you're right. And what do they say? Different strokes for different... Joe! Hey. What's wrong? That awful smell, it's back again. Jesus, I forgot to lock the door! <laughs>
just one shot. Fast as quick as light. Goodbye, 38. Goodbye, Joe, too. Bad guys got it now. You want to go up against them with just that? No way. I'll never see him again. He was always playing tricks on me. Little boy tricks. It was scary sometimes, but always fun. We'd fight and, and, and make up, but it, it was just a big game between us. I can't believe it was the last time. I just can't, and it's not fair. And I won't believe it. I need you, Joe. Maybe he'll turn up. Turn up? What, like the other? Lying in a filthy pit, skin like a rabbit? Oh, he was such a sweet guy. Like a little boy. But he was young and sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Ruth, I'll get the lights. Slug left. You want to be a hero? No, thanks. How about you? Wait a minute. Oh, what else is there? The court call is Zombie. <laughs> you mean fried zombie. I certainly hope it works. How are you coming? Okay, I'm set. Uh, screw the rest. serious about you very serious lucky me after all this is caribbean isn't it boy meets girl vice versa 
I meant about fried zombies. Listen, I don't know what to believe anymore. Walking corpses, zombies, bacchus, whatever. What do you think, Paul? Up to now, all the monsters I've seen have been human. I right, give anything. <laughs> One round left. Yeah, too bad he didn't have time to use it. That's how we do. You say, friend? What are you doing here? Oh, I'm, I'm tracking that critter that just bust out of here. You get him? No, no, no. He, he moves faster than lightning. But I will eventually, though. Okay. Come up. But nice and slow. Oh, I'll, 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 the only way I can take it. <laughs> yeah, I've been Mickey Mousing around these jungles for the past two or three days. What have you been doing out there? I told you. I've been tracking that thing, or things. Name's uh, Whitney. <laughs> Elliot Whitney. I had a house over there, the other side of the valley. You had a house? Yeah, he burned me out. It's a custom around here, it seems. Me, I'm from, I'm from Boston originally. I retired down here to get away from those New England winters. What did I get instead, huh? Well, what did you get? Uh, trouble, trouble. There's nothing but trouble. From the from the critic? Uh, kill my wife. Murder my partner. Who did that? Uh, political terrorists, or Indians crazy on ganja weed, or maybe some prehistoric tribe. Uh, beats me. Uh, uh, Bloodthirsty is all I know, miss. Uh, uh, sorry, Mr. Whitney. Yeah. This is Sandy. This is Connie. Uh -huh. Ladies. <laughs> well, you uh, boys plan to spend the night out here? Oh, okay. There you go. Where's Joe? Uh, still no sign of him. I don't understand, Steve. Bunch of us came up from the port for the voodoo mass. 
And ever since then, it's been nothing but trouble. Are these murderers, these monsters, are they cannibals? Well, uh, where the devil did you get that idea? Because the bookcase in there is full of books on cannibalism. Oh, well, well I'll tell you. When Columbus first arrived here, these islands were inhabited by the Arawak Indians. They were peaceful types. But then they were invaded by the Caribs. They came up from Colombia and Venezuela. They were fierce, bloodthirsty types. They swept through the islands of Cuba and Haiti and Jamaica, all the islands that we know today as the Caribbeans. And the language that they spoke was Caribbean. Latin form for caravan is cannibal, <laughs> the flesh eaters. Well, that's what the, the Caribbeans really were. Uh, well, I don't know what to say about it for today, but frankly, I don't even like to think about it. Uh, is, is there some place here that I can wash it a bit? Sure, I'll show you. And the next thing you know, he's burning down your house. As you've learned, there's a lot of things that are at issue here. There! Look! <laughs> what the hell do we do now? Hide in the jungle. Oh, it wouldn't work. Why not? Well, they're expert trackers. They ferret us out in no time. What else is there? Ambush! <laughs> are you kidding? There's a million miles of jungle out True, there. True, but we know where they are now, down by the road. And to get here, they'll have to cross the river. Now, human or subhuman, they'll take the shortest route. And especially since you wounded one. Okay, let's get organized. Come on, Sandy. Here, 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 you take these. Yeah, yeah, I, you're in better shape than I am to handle the blunderbuss. Out this way. We can't waste any time. Exactly. You've got to get to the river first. You go ahead. I'll hide us in the underbrush. You sure? Positive. Sandy? I'll go with the two of you. Okay, we'll come back for you after it's over. I love you, Angel. Now, what 
the hell is going on here? Oh, my dear girl, it's all very involved. So uninvolve it. Spell it out. Well, on the last shipment from Bogota, my business associates, our local erstwhile friends, they resorted to the classic faux barri. The what? Double cross. And then as he paid off the Colombians in counterfeit. And then he and his pooter girlfriend planned to skip with the real green. And so what happened? Well, the cowboys, they burned them out. They turned them into that shop meat. Uh, those, those savages, they come up in the middle of the night and toss a couple of bottles of cocktails. Then swoosh up a lifetime of work goes up in smoke and flame. Here, everybody has to handle his own problem. We got no fire department. <laughs> but that was the last problem Hernandez and his lure had to face. That's only half of it. And the other half? Well, there's, there's an informant on your end in New York. Informant? When the Colombians got a tip that someone in this tour group had the cash on this trip, they sent up a hit squad. So I wasn't thinking to write Oh, absolutely not. They just simply started eliminating you one by one and then searching through the bags for the payment. And what's the drill now? <laughs> Business as usual, my dear. But what about all that needless hacking up of all those people? My dear girl, it's all part of the subculture. Women and children and even babies are not immune to their revenge or, or instruction. Plus the fact that I imagine that mm, someone employed some torture. Who's got the goodies and all of that? I don't find it amusing. Oh, no. Well, my dear girl, it's all part of the total scene. There's fun and games and good times. <laughs> Isn't that what it's all about, huh? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Just give me a second. It seems that you're a bit out of condition, my dear. <laughs> this hit squad, Whitney, why do they smell so awful? <laughs> Why, it, it, it's rotten bark and, and, and trees and, and slimy jungle things. And it's a concoction that they smear on themselves so they smell like rotting corpses. <laughs> Certainly isn't Chanel, is it? Oh, oh, oh you're, you're beginning to feel a little better, I see. Huh? Well, it, it's true, but it, it keeps the local primitives at arm's length and it reminds them of their zombies. And it keeps them at distance. <laughs> it's really quite amusing, though. <laughs> You've got a great sense of humor, Whitney. Uh, 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 uh. I'll die laughing. Uh, I, I rather doubt it. Hernandez and his whore certainly didn't. I'll beat him to it. Okay, it's crossfire. All right, so Sandy, you get behind Paul, all right? Come on. Come on. Tell Miami. Miami? Tell Miami. D-E-A. You're not dead yet. I'll get help. D-E-A. Drug Enforcement Agency. Looking for connection. With us? Like ten little 
Indians, only one left. You have promise. Sandy. Sandy! your friends. Those animals have been following us all night. I trust that everything has been properly settled. I hate loose ends. Careful, my dear. Well, you certainly seem at home. I ought to. This is my house. But the fire, you said... Ah, that was Hernandez. Cocaine cowboys, they wanted me alive and well. At least until I completed the last transaction. You have it? Of course. Well, let me see it. Let's see the candy first. Ha! <laughs> you are a tough customer. <laughs> I've always been a great believer of Edgar Allan Poe. The purloined leather, you know. You want to hide something, you hide it in plain sight. Have no fear, it's top grade. Number nine rock. Yeah, but you're supposed to have enough for ten mules to haul back to the States. After I see your end, my dear. Five million, U.S. Twenty-five million on your end. Ah, oh, but I'm the one taking the chance getting it back to New York. Ah, back to your little discotheques and playpens. <laughs> My dear friend, don't knock it if you don't know it. Of course not, my dear. Shakuno Sanku. <laughs> right this way, my dear girl. Uh, now just keep your eye on it. Efficiency is the key to industry and profit. Steve, startled me. Yeah. I'll bet. Where are the others? Back out there, dead. We were ambushed, just like your friend, your plan. <laughs> My dear young fellow, you give me too much credit. Steve, please, put that thing away. You don't need it here, we're all friends. Money makes strange bedfellows. Young man, this is strictly a business transaction. For how much? A, 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 a few hundred thousand. Is that all? Twelve people dead for a few hundred thousand? I, I'm not a not generous man, young fellow. And, and now that you're with us, I'd be delighted to share with you. Mm. Uh, but, uh, but I owe it to you, uh, since you've done away with those animals that have been hounding me. Stop running, baby. Because I got news for you. Feds are. Next one's for you. Are you crazy? You just killed that poor man. Poor man, my ass. Another greedy pig like you. I'm not talking thousands, I'm talking millions. Good to hear. Tell Paul and Sandy and all the others dead out there. Forget about them. I had nothing to do with that. Can't you think of the living and the living that we can do together? Living? 
What about the loving? Wasn't that part of the package too, Angel? The loving, of course it is. You just told me you loved me only an hour ago. Could I have possibly changed so much in so little time? No, you haven't changed. I have. Because, Steve, please don't kill me. Kill you? That's not my plan. What are you going to do with me? Turn you in, sweetheart. A dealer like you, it should only be 20 years to life. Steve, that's not fair. I'm not playing a sap for you anymore, Angel. I'm frightened, Steve. You didn't mind leading us up here. I can't help it. I'm scared now, please. Don't worry. Both sides were wiped out except for you and me. Steve, please. Get moving. Look, whatever happens, I want you to know one thing. That I really love you. Okay, maybe in the beginning I was, I, I was playing you along. But the way you stood up tonight. I gotta hand it to you. When you lie, you lie beautifully. Oh, God, no, not a lie. The truth, maybe for the first time in my life. And for whatever it's worth to you, I really did fall in love with you. Whatever happened in that house had nothing to do with you or me. I, I really need you in my life. Told you the gods would provide. Now, Mr. Jones will escort you back to your boat. Ha, 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 ha. This way, folks. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Jones Stores welcomes you. And I, Reginald Chumley Jones, your tour guide, welcome you personally. Our tour today. Oh, you have a tour book, sir? Yes, this way, please. Our tour today will take us to one of the most fascinating islands of the beautiful Caribbean. I think I can safely promise you a tour you'll never forget. There'll be sights you've never experienced before, thrills you've never experienced before. Of all the visitors who come to these parts, you are to be congratulated above all. You are men and women of great taste and discrimination who spurn the artificial, who demand the genuine, the real thing. Demanded the real thing, and you shall have it! 